This week's weekly ritual is dedicated to the memory of tattoo artist legend and Monolith on the Mesa Festival co-founder Dano Sanchez, who passed away last week. Rest in power. What's up, everybody? It's Keith. You're watching the Weekly Ritual, Ghost Cult's new show, right here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. GhostCultMag.com is a small business. With that out of the way, let's get into it. In case you missed it, features a Ghost Cult. We kicked this week's features off with a ton of interviews. We talked to Scott Ian Lewis of Carnifex all about their new album, Graveside Confessions, out now on Nuclear Blast. We also talked to John Wilkes, formerly of Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, all about his new band, Kingdom of Us. We've also got a ton of new podcasts. The Ghost Cult Magazine podcast is back, my friends. Colin Kanowski interviewed both Black Star Kids and Jim Shorts, two awesome indie rock bands making an impact at Riot Fest 2021. And Gary Alcock caught up with Ash and Crown at Bloodstock Festival. You can also catch me on the Glacially Musical podcast, talking about great bands and great eras with host Nick Cameron. This week, we finish our series on Black Sabbath. Speaking of Black Sabbath, thanks to everybody who entered our big giveaway for the Black Sabbath posters. We really appreciate you. And now you can enter our new giveaway, our team up with Death Metalers Casket Robbery on their Halloween merch giveaway. Enter at the link below. And now the news rundown. Big news in tours and festivals. A lot of postponements, a lot of new bookings. The Bay Strikes Back, the amazing American leg of the tour featuring Testament, Exodus, and Death Angel has officially been postponed to 2022. It's a big bummer. The bands will still play their local show in Oakland in November at the Fox Theater. And all those bands also played Aftershock Festival last night. The Devastation on the Nation tour is rebooked and reborn for 2022. It's got Rod and Christ, it's got Borknagar, it's got Winterheart, it's got Abigail Williams, and a special guest to be announced coming up next spring. Wolves in the Throne Room, who recently booked a U.S. tour for this fall, have postponed their European dates to spring of 2022. Foo Fighters main man Dave Grohl just released his debut novel, The Storyteller, and he is out on the road doing a brief tour of book signings and stories. Foo Fighters will also headline the Innings Fest. Ghost Cults cover the Innings Fest that takes place every spring in Arizona and matches up rock bands and baseball. Because that works. Last week we brought you the news that David Lee Roth was going to be doing a Las Vegas residency to close out the year and begin 2022. And now the Van Halen legend has announced these will be his final live shows ever. Don't miss out. Get your tickets now. Journey frontman Arnel Pineda and Filipino music legend Bamboo have teamed up for a co-headline tour of America. A sporadic string of dates are happening every weekend for the next bunch of months. And you can catch the Journey legend doing a bunch of covers of classic rock songs as well as some Journey favorites. Passes are already on sale now for Full Terror Assault 2022. What will be FTA number seven? Amazing, get your golf cart march on now with your early bird tickets. Alternative Rock Legends Fuel have just booked a handful of shows in the Midwest supporting their upcoming new album. Progressive Rock Legend Rick Wakeman will embark on a new headline tour of North America. He also pushed some of those dates to 2022, but a good bunch of them will take place this fall as well as the Hyperspace Festival in Vancouver, which sounds positively progtastic. Hardcore punk legend Circle Jerks will headline a huge tour in 2022 with direct support coming from Negative Approach and Seven Seconds. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. And Henry Rollins has booked a headline spoken tour for 2022, his first in a few years since the pandemic. The Good To See You Tour kicks off this winter. It'll be good to see you, Henry. We missed him. We continue to bring you the updates on Richie Faulkner, Jews Priest, and his medical condition. He had a 10-hour open heart surgery following Louder Than Life Festival, where he had an aortic aneurysm on stage and continued to play the entire show, even though he knew he was definitely ill and something was wrong with him. Uh, Richie is expected to make a full recovery, and of course, Jews Priest had to postpone their 50 years of Jews Priest heavy metal tour until 2022. Get well soon, Richie. Ozzy Osbourne has announced in a new interview that a host of guitar legends are going to participate in his upcoming new album, the follow-up to his Billboard number one album, Ordinary Man. Names such as Tony Iommi, Zach Wilde, Jeff Beck, and Eric Clapton will all participate on the album. Red alert, y'all! Ghost is back with their new single and video, Hunter's Moon, off the soundtrack to Halloween Kills, a Blumhouse production. 
We're super excited for Halloween Kills and we're super excited for new ghost music. You can stream the song everywhere, watch the video, and pre-order the vinyl now. Another band with new music is Limp Bizkit. We finally got to experience those dad vibes. That's right. The dad vibes of Limp Bizkit. Lyric video and single are out now everywhere. The lyric video is hilarious. There's a bunch of little Easter eggs in it. Limp Bizkit says they'll be dropping a new single every few weeks the rest of the year. New York Comic Con is this weekend, and of course that means toys, and it means music toys. So again, a whole bunch of new fun codes, including Metallica, Tupac Shakur, Biggie Smalls, and more. And Super 7 is releasing a bunch of new stuff, including a new ghost reaction figure of Papa Emeritus 2. New York hardcore legend Roger Moret has undergone his second surgery for cancer in as many years. There's a great GoFundMe on right now where you can donate to Roger's care. It's gonna take a lot of work to get him well. As you know, he's been battling for the last few years with congestive heart failure, and now he is fighting cancer. Roger is one of the toughest and greatest people in the world, and we wish you the best. Get well soon, my friend. Congratulations are in order for Slipknot, who have earned another gold record, this time in the UK for the song Psychosocial, off of their album, All Hope Is Gone. The band is on the road right now on the NotFest Roadshow, and NotFest Los Angeles is one month away. Black Metalers Funeral Chants are dropping a brand new album, Dawn of Annihilation. Sounds ominous. They just dropped the title track, which you can listen to right now. This is a killer up and coming band you need to know about. Americana and country singer Brandi Carlisle says she'd like to be the new singer of Soundgarden should the band ever reunite. She just dropped her amazing album in the silent days. We saw her at Bottle Rock with her own solo band, as well as the High Women. She performed at Ohana Fest with Pearl Jam, duetting with Eddie Vedder on Better Man. She covered Soundgarden songs. She has made a Soundgarden Record Store Day single and jammed with the living members of Soundgarden at her big live stream concert event in September. The band has said that they are pretty much done forever as Soundgarden. Maybe they will do a tribute concert someday, but done as Soundgarden. They have a new project they're working on as yet unnamed, but we would vouch for Brandy to do a tour of Soundgarden stuff. She's great. Founding Cancer Bats guitarist Scott Middleton has quit the band to open up a music studio and move on to a new part of his life. We're still waiting for a new Cancer Bats album and tour of North America, but the band has released a series of acoustic EPs in the last few years. New metal legends Candle Mass have paid tribute to their late friend, the great Eric Wagner of Trouble and the Skull, who passed away from COVID last month. The band has released a cover of Trouble's The Tempter, which you can stream now. All around good guy and former As They Lay Dying guitarist Nick Hippa has released a new song from his brutal brand new project, Meyer, and it's a banger. We have looking forward to new music from Nick, as well as continued music videos and productions from his motion graphics company. Hatchet Books has released Eruption, Conversations with Edward Van Halen, an incredible look into the artist's life. It was just the one year anniversary this week of his passing, which is still a devastating loss to the music world. But this book is really amazing. I just got it in the mail and I'm tearing into it for a future review. Support the memory of St. Edward and buy this book. And finally in the news, Rockers Bad Wolves have released a brand new single and lyric video for their song, House of Cards, from their upcoming new album on Better Noise Music. And now for a look at Who Rules It Streaming. This week's Who Rules It Streaming is guaranteed to get you into the spooky season mood. Event Sevenfold has covered Misfits classic hybrid moments. The band wanted to pay tribute to the Misfits as well as rock it for Halloween. Also in Who Rules It Streaming this week, Two Minutes to Late Night is back yet again with a new cover of Mountain's 1970 song, Never In My Life, a little bit of an underrated gem. The cover features Brent from Mastodon, Cody from High on Fire and Big Business, Aaron Reesberg of Yob and Living Gate, and Jordan Gorsinio Hall Olds of Two Minutes to Late Night. Check it out. And now for a look at some of the music on New Music Friday. Antichrist Siege Machine, Purifying Blade, Profound Lore, Atrey Beast, Apexapian, 20 Bucks Spin, Black Sights, Untrue, Self-Released, Born With Hair, When the Witches Fall, Trep Nation, The Breathing Process, Labyrinthian, Unique Leader Records, Cannabis Corpse, Blunted at Birth Re-Release, Season of Mist, Christian Death, The Dark Age Renaissance Collection Part 3, The Age of Decadence Box Set, Season of Mist, Creeping Death, The Edge of Existence EP, E1, Desalmato, Mass Mental Devolution, Blood Blast, Eclipse Records, Wired, Frontiers SRL, Electric Guitars, Freewheeler, Mighty Music, Gus G, Quantum Leap, AFM, Houston, 
4, Frontiers SRL, Jeff Scott Soto, The Duets Collection, Volume 1, Frontiers SRL, Karloff, Self-Titled, No Funeral, Kite, Currents, Majestic Mountain, Kowloon Walled City, Piecework, Neurot and Gilead, Local H, Local H's Awesome Quarantine Mixtape Number 3, Brutal Panda, Manimal, Armageddon, AFM, Nothing, The Great Dismal, The Great Dismal B-Sides EP, Relapse Records, Our Man in the Bronze Age, Hexed Endeavors, Sentient, Shy Low, Snake Behind the Sun, Pelagic Records, Siren's Reign, Rise Forth, Self-Released, Slow Shine, Living Light, The Lasting Dose, Space Goat, Catharsis EP, Self-Released, Terra Maze, and The Beauty They Perceive, Wells, Thought Crimes, Tap Night EP re-release, Pure Noise, Trivium, In the Court of the Dragon, Roadrunner Records, Untamed Land, Like Creatures Seeking Their Own Forms, Napalm Records, Wayward Sons, Even Up the Score, Frontiers SRL, Wretch, All My Dreams Came True, I Void Hanger. And now for a look in our mailbag. This week's mailbag features this awesome vinyl I got in the mail. Of Blood Incantations, Star Spawn record from Dark Descent Records. Shout out to Dark Descent. They did a new pressing of this album. It's the first time in a long time it's been available on vinyl. Of course, the band is blowing up. They just recently did a headline tour, and we're looking forward to more new music from Blood Incantation really soon. You made it to this part of the show, so you know what time it is. It's the end. GhostcoltMag.com is a small business, and we really appreciate the support. So please smash that like button, ding that notifications bell, and find out when we drop a new video, three every week. As we say every week at this juncture of the show, it's a tough time in the world. So please, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and stay fucking metal.